Hey guys, this is That Snazzy iPhone Guy here with you today, and we're going to be playing a interesting little game called Brother in Arms. Now, I'm sticking this into safe mode, and you're probably wondering, what is safe mode? When you jailbreak, you have an allotted memory to your operating system on the device, and you can put a lot on or you can put a little bit on. I have a thousand megabytes, so I have quite a bit. Um, that's what they recommend at minimum, but you know, I have music, I have videos, I didn't want to take any more than 16 gigs. But what happens is when you exceed this allotted memory, there's not enough memory, not enough RAM, if you will, to keep your apps running. So when you stick it in safe mode, it screws everything up. You can see there's an icon down there, but you can honestly run your apps well. So um, it's really easy, you just get um, SB settings, when you're done, you click this, click restart, and it just relaunches your springboard. It doesn't restart the phone, so it's relatively quick. And uh, we're going to be, what did I say we're looking at? We're going to be looking at Brother in Arms. Okay, now I have a bunch of new games for you, and uh, so this will be exciting, but this is Brother in Arms. Um, this is currently, as far as I know, uh, it is, at least when I record this video, $5.99 um, in the App Store. It's a great, fun little game, and uh, we'll turn some volume on here. It's just fun to play around with. I mean, the controls are not fantastic, I will admit, but they are pretty decent. I mean, this is a true console title. This is a game that has been uh, put a lot of work into, so I mean, you'd expect it to be good. Um, and it's decent, and it's... Oh, there we go. Okay, so you have a bunch of missions. The interface is really nice. Um, we're going to try Normandy. I haven't actually really played this game. I played the tutorial, so if you're wondering why have you no progress, this is truly the first level. Um, do you want to continue from your last save checkpoint? We'll say no and go. It's a great fun little game loading. There's these neat little quotes at the top. War does not determine who is right, only who is left. Get it? <laughs> anyway, so the graphics are pretty decent. I mean, they're on par. They're probably actually a little bit better than a DS. And they're on... Yeah, I mean, they're not as good as a... They're not as good as a PSP by any means. But it's a pretty neat little game, and it's pretty amazing that they were able to put this famous title onto the iPhone and make it work. Anyway, so uh, what you do to control is uh, you move around with this right, little analog off, stick, dare I say. It moves the direction in which you move. And to move your aim, you scroll. Okay? Now, it's a little glitchy, it's not the best, that's why I'm a little skeptical. Uh, obviously, it has to auto-target, auto because uh, there's no way you can get it right dead on. And uh, so anyway, you can move it in any direction you want, and it's pretty, it's pretty neat. Uh, there's a fire button, there's a grenade, <laughs> don't throw those. Uh, you tilt the iPhone and press the fire icon to throw the grenade. Do so, and it goes where you throw it. It's pretty neat. Um, I mean, this is a really fun little game. It's a fun little title. Uh, it's six dollars right now in the app store, and I mean, for six bucks, I'd get it. For nine, which is the regular price, nah, I'd say don't go for it. But for six dollars, you know, it's a pretty decent little price. And they're just gonna kill me, so I'm gonna run. And uh, I mean, it's pretty fun. You have instructions. You're supposed to find the enemy. That's very or flank the enemy. Can't read. But you can die. I mean, you have life allotted. If you can see it, it's in the top right there. Oh, shit. And when you get hit, it says taking fire. And, uh, oops, I'm turning the wrong out. And, uh, so it's, I mean, it's pretty neat. It's a fun little game. Um, I haven't gotten very far, but I decided to do a review because I'll probably forget about it. MG at 3 o'clock. Oh, no. Uh, now I'm in aim mode. Double click to exit. Uh, but what you can do is zoom in. That's really neat. And uh, double pull up to exit. But anyway, so uh, there's a few other things you can do. I mean, there's the grenades. To reload, you go like that. You have different missions, different goals that you have to complete to uh, do well in the game. There's lots of different levels. The interface is really nice, and it's a really well done game. It's from Gameloft. It's $6.99 in the App Store. $5.99 in the App Store, and that's what it's worth. $9.99, uh, I'd say no go. But for 6 bucks, go ahead, get it, get and get it. I mean, it's a good little fun little game. It seems very lengthy. Um, 
especially for an icon game. I don't know for sure because I haven't played it. Leave your comments in the box. No, Quinn, this game is short or, oh, yeah, this is for sure long. But uh, that's that. So thank you guys, Brother in Arms, for the iPhone and iPod Touch in the App Store for $9.99 regularly. $6 while you can get it right now. $5.99, so get it while you can. Thank you guys. This is that snazzy iPhone guy, and I'm not going to see you. That's a lie. Why, why do I use that logo or that slogan again? This is how I'm going to do it. Hey guys, this is that snazzy iPhone guy, and that's all for today. Brother in Arms, $6.99 in the App Store. $5.99 in the App Store. Truly, $5.99. $5.99 in the App Store. So get it while you can, and uh, as always, stay snazzy. There we go. See you guys.